Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. It's about goalkeepers. Yeah, <laughs> AC Milan are in trouble at the moment. Unless you've been living under a big rock, you might know by now that um, Maldini been sacked. And that is not a good news because many fans are not happy about it and also players are not happy about it so the director of football sacked the co-director of football ricky masara also sacked and they are very very popular at milan so uh it's trending right now cardinal out cardinal out you know jerry cardinal is the owner right the chairman of ac milan Fans want him out as soon as possible because you don't touch Maldini at AC Milan. And he said, we don't have the same vision anymore, so you need to leave. Hmm. And when something like this happens, it's a lot of speculations going on because people think they can get uh, the players out of the team. So... Uh, in the Chelsea community, the name that been trending. Not only in the Chelsea community, every community. <laughs> Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal. Everybody wants a player from AC Milan. It's entertaining, but do you see this kind of stuff happen just because they sacked somebody? I don't know about it. So this could impact a lot of things at Chelsea Football Club. We know that... Um, Chelsea are looking for the goalkeeper. And Mike Mignon is one of the best goalkeepers in the entire world. And when you say Kepa can play the ball from the back, or he's specialist in penalties, that is a big lie because he doesn't even... <laughs> he can't even tie the shoes of Mike Mignon. So Mike Magnon is trending in the Chelsea community at the moment. People, come to Chelsea, come to Chelsea, come to Chelsea. So what do you think? Should we go for Mike Magnon or do you think that he is going to join Chelsea Football Club? I think AC Milan are offering him a contract extension. But if Chelsea go with good money, a few days ago it was trending that we could make a swap deal between Manyan and, and Mendy or Manyan with uh, Onana or that. So uh, I don't think I, I don't think the swap deal is going to happen. But if you present a good project to Manyan and he knows that he's going to get more money at Chelsea Football Club, something might happen. Because if he refused to sign contract extension i think he still has like two years left on his con current contract he said i'm not gonna sign a contract i'm leaving i think they're gonna cash on him so for me i'm okay with mike Magnon. but when it comes to onana listen this is my own brother right don't get me wrong i, I just don't feel it i don't feel anything about onana he got to a lot of trouble in the dressing room at Barcelona, at Ajax, and now at Inter, and even with uh, Cameroon national team. There are always some trouble caused by Onana. So I don't want to that's a Chelsea football club. And he will come out like publicly in the media and say, I don't care about the fans. I don't give a damn, you know. I don't want to use the word that he used, but... He's just showing the, the fans the middle finger that I don't care. That is not the good attitude to have a Chelsea football club because you're going to get criticized after every single bad game. I know, we all know I'm not in my best shape right now. And people can... Oh, now, now you're saying it. Yeah, but that is the truth. I didn't play for long. And people can say what they want. I don't care. You know, I just do my thing. If you're angry, it's your problem. If you're happy, it's your problem. So for me, yeah. that's a matter only... only take the critic from the coaches for the rest they yeah. can sing they can cry i don't give shit yeah and you don't give a shit that no, no. you you're playing less than that. this is how i become who i am so 
why I'm going to play that game, listening what people said. My friend, it's my life. Let, let me write my story. So let them say what they want. No problem. Yeah. I still love them. Okay. Yeah, so that is the reason why I'm not going to get Onana, a Chelsea football club. Also, I have a problem with his size, but that is another topic for another day. He's better than Kepa, though, in my opinion. They are the same size in terms of, you know, height, but he got, you know, longer arms and he's a more ball-playing goalkeeper from the back than Kepa. So, I would take Onana. Um, you know, in front of Kepa, but I'm not going to take Onana in front of somebody like uh, Manyan. So let me know what you think. And for Rafael Leao, also people been saying Rafael Leao need to, to come to Chelsea. I think it's too late. He put this emoji here, you see? His tweet is just that emoji of thinking and wondering what the hell is going on. Maldini out. So by just putting that emoji on social media created a lot of uh, you know speculations he want to leave he want he just signed like 5 years contract 170 million release close i think it's too late for chelsea before um this guy here Mikhail Mudrik came to chelsea i really want it Leao at any cost a Chelsea football club. This is a way of saying because I don't want to overpay. But one day and one day only, everything changed. Chelsea flew to Turkey, got the deal done for Mikhail Modric. I didn't even expect him. I took it seriously when he was already on the airplane coming to London. So I'm going to have to support Mikhail Modric. I think he's going to improve. But my number one choice was Mr. Leao. So let me know if you think that he can cancel the contract and somehow Chelsea can spend $170 million on Leao. I think it's too late for me. I don't see it happening, but it's good to entertain people, right? <laughs> Okay, the last speculations being about Ruben Loftochik. So there is a connection between what is happening at AC Milan and Ruben Loftochik. Remember, Maldini wanted him, you know. And now Maldini and Masara, like they are big, big fans of, of uh, Rob, Ruben Loftochik, and you know talks been going on very well. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, they both of them are sacked. So. Now, the negotiations depend on the new people in the office, the new director of football, and how the vision of AC Milan is going to be. Probably they don't want to old players anymore. They want to go to projects of young people and develop them and not, uh, not somebody like Ruben Loftochik. So this could impact uh, that transfer, but regardless of what's going to happen, Ruben Loftochik is going to find a good club somewhere where he can play week in and week out. And good luck that if he doesn't get injured, I think he's, um, uh, he's going to be a very, very good club, uh, good club, good player in whatever team he's going to be. Because he's a bowler, you know. I wanted to keep a lost chick for the squad, but also I'll be happy for him to to enjoy football instead of sitting on a bench and waiting just in case something happens so we can use you. I think he's better than that and he's going to explode somewhere else. So fingers crossed, regardless of Maldini situation, Ruben can make his dream move to Italy and start playing with Fikayo Tomori, my other brother.